hello my darlings in today's video i want to welcome you into my club the club of the daily masker yes i mask every day in fact in 2023 i'd love us to focus on masking on my channel i'm going to do somewhat like a masking series i'm going to focus on reviewing quite a few masks i'm going to share my masking tips and hopefully by the end of the year you are well settled in into my club but before we get into that i would love to let you know who i am just in case you don't know my name is ijama i'm a beauty lover a skincare influencer a pro makeup artist and a woman of a certain age and i feel like all these things truly inspire everything that i do on my channel let's first start with a little bit of housekeeping i know the idea of masking every day can sound daunting or expensive but trust me it's not now there are two rules that i stick to that keep me in the daily masker club the first one is relying on clay in its raw form using clay in its raw form and mixing it with either honey aloe a serum even a toner helps me keep the numbers down and really does suit my skin type i do have a touch of oiliness in my t-zone other parts of my skin are normal sometimes i can get dehydrated and i don't necessarily break out but my blackheads and my whiteheads can be sometimes disrespectful and the second rule there's always time i know people like to say i don't mask because i don't have time well there's time if there's time for netflix if there's time to watch this video if there's time to just meander and lose half an hour without knowing where it's gone then you can be more intentional with your time and insist that you will mask your skin every day because of my simple ways when it comes to masking and that is relying on clay in its raw form i don't particularly go out looking for masks but i know not many people like what i do and that is mixing a powder mask if you're not a daily masker or you have not ritualized your skincare routine it can seem a bit tedious and that's why i've decided to do quite a few reviews of masks that are available in the skincare market if you've been here long enough you do know that i also focus on british independent skincare but the thing that i have noticed with them is quite a lot of masks in this realm are powder masks and back to the note that i made not everybody has the patience to mix up their powder masks so i'm going to be leaning into a little bit of k-beauty so that we can find masks for everyone i do love me my k-beauty it does supplement my skincare quite a bit because once again not quite a lot of brands have a huge variety of watery skincare quite a lot of them do their toners from the side of floral waters like rose water lavender water and i need just a little bit more and that's where i go to k-beauty for so in 2023 i'm not only going to be hunting down my watery skincare from k-beauty i'm also going to be exploring quite a few masks for myself and for you now the masks that I'm going to review in today's video I have been using for about three to five months I would say and throughout the reviews I'm going to be sharing tips on how I maximize my masking ways I might just do separate videos on this but let's see how it goes last and certainly not least before I get into the reviews I am not going to particularly rank them in efficiency because these masks are all different they're all for different skin types they're all for different needs so i'm just going to pick one and we'll go for it let's start with something that i know from the past this is not my first rodeo with this mask this is the Innistry real rose calming mask this is a simple hydrating mask no fuss no mask i do think all skin types will enjoy this mask at the end of the day we all need to hydrate our skin but because of its simplicity it's not a random walk type of situation if you have a couple of hydrating toners in your routine or a really good hydrating serum you absolutely do not need a mask like this in fact thinking about it i think that this mask suits two types of people and those people lay on the extreme end of the spectrum we have the extra people like me and we have the minimalistic skincare girlies now if you're extra like me and you insist on having juicy skincare all the way through the skin has to be chock full of antioxidants the skin has to be juicy then this mask is definitely one to try but if you're a minimalist in your skincare and maybe you just want a little bit of something extra maybe you lie on the drier side of your skin maybe you get dehydrated a little bit more than others 
then having this mask on top of your hydrating toners and serums could really be a plus. Now for the first tip to maximize your masking ways. Always apply your mask on wet skin. It allows the mask to move much easier over your skin and you will use less. And that's one tip I found that's really important with this mask. You really don't need a lot. If you apply this on wet skin, and my preferred way to wet my skin before I apply a mask is either to put on a layer of toner or to mist my skin with a facial mask, then you will definitely use less of this product, but still get a really good hydrating punch. As the name suggests, rose is the star ingredient of this mask. It appears in three forms. There's rose water, rose powder, and rose hip oil. There's quite a few antioxidant amino acids, which help soothe, moisturize, and hydrate the skin. It also comes at a fantastic price. I do think it's worth trying. As I said, I think all skin types will like this. We all need a little bit of hydration. And it's really cute. You get to see all the rose petals through the formula. It's a really nice mask and I give it a solid 4 out of 5. Now the next two masks are very similar, but I'm going to start with the one that I like the most. This is the Celimax Noni Clay Mask. A clay mask, as the name suggests. Because of my experience of using clay in its raw form, it is very difficult for a clay mask to impress me. So for me, when I was buying clay masks, I had to look at the other ingredients that were in the clay mask to make sure that a clay mask was either going to do something for me or not. And I really think the other ingredients in this mask are really doing something for me. It's chock full of antioxidants from the Noni extract. There's also extracts of green tea, licorice, maple, and support. And there's also glycerin and birch sap in this, adding a hydrating factor to this mask. Now, experience-wise, I found this to be a very refreshing mask. Anytime I used it, I noticed a slight perk to the skin. The skin was left very clean, very refreshed. My only qualm with it, as with many clay masks, is that it dries a little bit too fast for me. And with that, here is tip number two of how I maximize my clay masking ways. Always use a mist. When you have your clay mask on your skin, don't let it dry down. Mist your skin away. I particularly don't like to use anything too expensive to do this step. I like to go in either with a facial water or a facial mist. For a very long time, I have used both of these to do the job. The Oriage Thermal Water is simply water in a can. When it comes to water in a can, I am not particularly brand loyal, but I recently found this, I feel sometime last year, through Essential, and I absolutely love the price. And it just does the job. It's nice, it's a nice fine mist, it's affordable. I always have some lying around the house because I tend to buy them in bulk really does the job. There are quite a few facial waters on the market, so don't feel like you have to buy this one. Just buy the one that best suits your budget. And the Hydrating Mist from Superdrug is an OG. It's a classic for me. It is juicy skin in a bottle. I absolutely love this. Remember my first tip that I shared with you about applying a mask on wet skin? This absolutely does the job beautifully just drench the skin with this then apply your face mask back to the noni clay mask i also didn't find it to be a mask that left the skin dry and i think it's the inclusion of the birch sap in this it does hydrate the skin not too much but enough i do find it enough to suggest it for most skin types if you lie on the drier side but you still use clay to clean out your pores Think about using my facial mist tip, and I have a feeling you already know about that tip. <laughs> I do find it gentle enough to also use in the mornings. Yeah, it is a mask that I do approve of. I do see myself repurchasing it, and I am willing to give it a solid 4 out of 5. Next up is the Benajor Magwat Cream Calming Mask. Now this mask I did buy for two reasons. Benajor is a brand that I truly wanted to explore because last year I met one of my new favorite bays and that is the Green Tea Water Balm Toner. 
and mugwort is a very popular ingredient that I have not yet experienced so that's why this was put in the cart as I had mentioned it's very similar to the noni clay mask experience wise it's not a drying clay mask I didn't find it to be as healing and calming and soothing as I expected it to be but I think I need to invest in either a mugwort toner or a mugwort serum you know a product that I do leave on the skin to see if this is an ingredient that will stand out to me and one thing that lets it down for me is the price compared to the size these two masks are very much so the same price range but you get double the amount with a Celimax one and because I'm a daily masker the numbers count regardless it is a really good mask I did find it to be gentle it is chock full of antioxidants I absolutely love antioxidants in my skincare my skin really responds well to antioxidants it just soothes and heals my skin so well the mugwort in this mask appears in three forms there's mugwort powder extract and oil there's also sodium hyaluronate emollients and other extracts such as rice celery carrot and broccoli I repeat my only qualm is price for size it's not quite doing it for me but it is nice it is worth trying I will say simply because of the price difference I will rather recommend the Celimax one first but if you have found that mugwort is an ingredient that really stands out on your skin maybe this is the one that you need to check out this one doesn't dry as quickly as the Celimax one but I still use my facial mist tip anytime I have a clay mask on my skin. I am not letting my skin dry out. No, no. I mean, look at this glow. Does, does this skin look like it's dry? Moving on. I am smiling because I am thinking of one of my favorite beauty secrets and that is masking in the morning and that's how I've been loving using this mask it has just made so many of my morning routines beautiful I don't know how and I don't know why but this mask has been doing the thing ingredients wise it shouldn't really not be that special but it's just been giving me beautiful plump refreshed hydrated dare i say it tight skin mm. this is a rice mask wash off from skin food let's even start that name is so confusing anyway when i was rambling about how much i love this mask i did mention that ingredient wise i don't know why this is so special because the ingredients are really not that special there are lots of classic skincare ingredients in this ingredients that i can hardly pronounce but most of them are really derivatives of coconut and glycerin most of them are simply humectants and emollients and both of those type of ingredients really support the health of your moisture barrier of course there is rice water and rice extract in this and i think that's what gives my skin that polished look that brightened look this mask truly does bring me so much joy it got to a point that I had to put this mask away because I wanted to do this review and I was going to genuinely finish it before I got to this review I definitely see myself repurchasing this and I seriously recommend it now let's talk about tip number three of my masking ways masking in the morning were you a little bit confused when I said that <laughs> rock with me now when I choose to mask my skin in the morning what I will do is actually treat the mask like a cleanser I will first mist my face with a facial mist and 9 out of 10 times it's going to be the vitamin E1 from Superdrug then I will take a cotton pad put some toner on it and swipe away I just simply want to remove last night's skincare and the sweat from my morning workout then I will put on my mask I'll do what I need to do in the morning then i will jump in the shower and rinse off my mask this is something i've been doing for about three years and i feel like i get top-notch results with it it not only makes my morning routines a little bit more extra but it just gives my skin that extra edge you know you know sometimes you do your morning routine and you're like is that it 
You know, is that is that all you're giving me? But when I use a mask, a really good mask, I just come out of the bathroom and I just feel like, yeah, the skin, the skincare, it's all sitting right. It is definitely a skincare secret that I implore you to try. I will say I do tend to gravitate towards hydrating and moisturizing masks to do that. But sometimes I will pick up a clay mask depending on how my skin's feeling in the morning. And by saying that, do use your skin type and your skin needs in that particular morning routine to determine what type of mask you're going to use for such a routine. With all that being said, I am highly impressed with this. I love its simplicity. I love the way it's been making me happy. But because nothing is perfect, <laughs> and it is very hard for me to give a product five out of five i am going to give this product a four out of five it would be absolutely rude for me to do any k-beauty mask reviews without shit masks k-beauty does love their shit masks me not so much for me it's really about the environmental impact that these cause there is a lot of packaging there is a lot of wastage i'm not really a fan of single-use skincare but i did want to mention sheet masks because there are people out there who absolutely love them this is the only way that i will be buying sheet masks if i do buy a few more over the year to review for you and that is when they are boxed up like this i really do like this idea k beauty does do it well quite a few brands do offer their masks in a box like this you just pop one out that way you don't always have to open a packet every time you want to use a sheet mask. So I really do like that idea. I will also say, I will always advocate that you buy a serum before you buy a sheet mask. At the end of the day, sheet masks are simply papers soaked in serum. But I get it. There are some people who love sheet masks. And I'm not judging you. You do you, boo okay let me review this for you this is the mary may collagen peptide vital mask really nice really nice and juicy i love the packaging as i had said they are 30 in a box and i have been using them once a week during my home facials i do find them to be very hydrating but i also find that they dry a little bit quick i would say they stay juicy for about 15 minutes now mary may has about four or five types of sheet masks what really called me to buy this was the peptides not particularly the collagen because collagen has quite a bit of conflicting studies there's some people who love it who swear by it and there's some people who say it makes no sense our body doesn't know how to absorb collagen through our skin um i don't know where i stand and because of those conflicting studies i don't really care to look for collagen in my skincare but it was the peptides for me they do have a really good decent fit on the face i did find that this packaging has kept the masks wet i have had this for about four months and they're all still pretty juicy really happy about that ingredient wise the stars of the show are of course the collagen and the peptides the collagen appears in three forms in this there's a collagen extract the soluble collagen and hydrolyzed collagen there are also five types of peptides that support the skin and provide the skin with antioxidants for me the biggest selling points are that they did not dry out in the box they were a decent price and they fit my face rather well but because of how I feel about sheet masks, I'm not really going to grade this. All I'm going to say is they feel good. I liked the price. What more can I say? And with that, we end the first video of my masking series. I truly do love masking my skin. I know a lot of people like to say that masking ain't worth the trouble. You're wasting product. You're washing it off. But baby girl has been masking for years. Every day sometimes i do it twice a day <laughs> and i really do feel like it gives my skincare a lot of edge i really do think it is a core part of how good my skin looks how supported my skin is and most importantly it reminds me that i have the discipline to choose myself even if it's for 30 minutes i can say you know what everybody i'm putting on a face mask leave me alone <laughs> 
I'm going to be a good girl and as per usual I am going to link everything that I have talked about in the description box so you can do yourself a little bit of happy shopping I want to thank you so much for being here my name is Ijama and I'll see you soon